forest from the Great Lakes. The wind sings like a wild bird across the northern states. Coming at last to this place, this sweep of America. 10,000 square miles of prairie across Montana and Dakota. They call it the Williston Basin. Not so long ago, this was frontier. Listen closely, and you will hear the old ghost echo of covered wagons. The phantom shadows of pioneers fighting for their lives against the wilderness. Lean men hard as hickory. Lonely women wearing their dreams like a bit of bright calico. They began with nothing, with their bare hands and a bucket of hope. Breaking the land with freedom's plow. Planting towns with names American as a banjo tune. Fargo, Stampede, Bluegrass, Beaver Lodge, Lincoln Valley, Williston. Halverson's my name, Nils Halverson, wheat farmer and school teacher. I was born and raised here, east of Montana along the Canadian line. Williams County, North Dakota. If I were somewhere away at the end of the earth and thinking of home, the thing I'd remember would be winter. The enormous frozen silence. The snow cutting us off from the world like a wall. The wind slicing across the fields. The way we say it, gets the cold shadows freeze to the ground and have to be pried loose with a pickaxe. seem like a sort of desolate place to some, but we're mostly Norwegian up this way. We've got an old immigrant prayer that goes, should all things perish, fleeting as a shooting star, oh God, let not the ties break that bind me to the north. put in an hour of chores at the farm by the time I turn up at the school, a one-room country schoolhouse at the edge of a wheat field. I look at these kids with their restless faces, grandchildren of the pioneers, descendants of the long rifle and the bull tongue plow. I find myself wondering, that proud, searching spirit that drove men out along new trails, is it still alive in them, in me? I wonder if this familiar stretch of land were suddenly to become frontier again, how would we meet the test? It may not be long before we know. There's a tense feeling in the air, a sense of waiting, as though some great door is about to swing open. I remember how it all began, so quietly. A few solitary men climbing the hills, crossing the fields. A geologist searching for clues in the shape of a valley, the composition of a stone, the fossil of a leaf that was green at the time of the dinosaurs. And then the seismograph crew coming in to map the underground, drill a hole and drop a dynamite charge. 
the shock waves going down to hit the buried layers of stone and bounce back to be recorded on sensitive instruments. By then, we all knew what they were doing. The object of their search was oil. Hard to imagine that somewhere a thousand miles across the continent, men were adding years of scientific research, checking reports, approaching a decision that might open a new world on our doorstep. From all of our uh, available data, I'd say that this is it. East of Williston here, south of Tioga, in the southwest of 6, 155.95, there's a fair chance of striking oil in a number of reservoir rocks.